A homeowner in the Bronx started renting a basement apartment to a woman who was from Ecuador. But then when, within a matter of two weeks, the woman told the landlord, listen, I'm going back. I'm going, I'm leaving. My brother is gonna take over the apartment. And he said, okay, um, can you please have your brother fill out this, the paperwork and include some ideas and, and send this all to me? That never happened, according to the landlord. In the end, the landlord told me that he believed he was just scammed. They used this woman to get them in there. And once one of them was in there, it became like a clubhouse for eight or nine of the most dangerous people uh, the landlord had ever been introduced to. They were selling ketamine cocaine, marijuana, and handguns out of this basement. These migrants were gang members who had been arrested over and over and over again and were known to multiple agencies. In fact, four of them were detained in Texas on attempted murder charges. They were set for a deportation and they were re-released into America because of overcrowding in two processing centers down in Texas. The landlord, after the migrants were living in this basement, they never, they didn't pay any rent. He started realizing I'm gonna lose this house. So he would lock them out, they would break back in and he would call the police. And when the police were there, he would be telling them what these guys are doing and they would be standing there looking at him going like this. He's like telling the cops, look, look what they're doing. You know what, everybody knows what this means. And the cops were all like, listen, we can't do anything. They're not doing anything right now, so we can't do anything. So the landlord was terrified because he knew he was at their mercy. He put in a $2,000 camera system on his house and the leader of this gang, they took out everything. All the cables to all the cameras were removed just to let him know that, no, no, we're in charge of this location, not you. So the landlord couldn't kick them out. That's how the system works. That's how the laws protect tenants in New York State. Unfortunately, these squatters have rights after 30 days of being there, and they can't just kick them out. You have to go through housing court, at which time they're gonna do everything they could possibly do to accommodate and keep these people housed. And there was nothing he could do. Every time he had the cops there, they were just saying, okay, well, you're gonna have to go and schedule it through you know, housing court. And he hired a lawyer. He went to four different court hearings and nothing happened. He said his water bill went from like $200 a month to $1,300 to $1,500 a month. If nobody's paying rent, trust me, that adds up after time. So he was saying, I'm behind on my bills. I could lose my house at any time. At the end of March, the police were called because someone was out in the street with a pistol threatening another person. The cops came, the individual ran back into the house and they followed him and they found a cache of weapons and drugs. And they cleared out the house. They took eight people out of that basement apartment, all of whom were arraigned and pretty much all of them were released because of bail reform. None of them were held onto. These squatters were so relentless that they just came back the next day. They weren't afraid of being arrested. They weren't afraid of anything. They knew nobody was gonna do anything, so they just came back and set up shop like it was, everything was everything. ICE actually read about the arrest of these eight dangerous gang members in the New York Post. The next day, ICE did a raid, and ICE just rolled in and made a second round of arrests. What blows my mind is how many times they were arrested and released. How long this went on for. I mean, it starts over a year ago. Why are these individuals in this basement acting with impunity? Why are these people who are arrested for attempted murder, arrested for possession of a loaded handgun, arrested multiple times, like time after time after time, why are they all running a drug business out of his basement? Why are they allowed to do that? How come the cops can't just come in, arrest them, and that's it? And they're ending up taking over people's homes, property, and running illegal businesses like drugs and destroying lives. That's the part that blows my mind. The part that I can't understand why we would do that. Why we think as a society, as us, as just as New Yorkers, or even just as Americans, why we think that that's a good idea. That's the part that blows my mind. 